Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about um, a new product that I have. I'm not sure how new it is out in the world. I may have to like Google it and see when it came out, but it is a new product to me. Um, it's a foundation that's a stick foundation and I thought it was really cool. I actually got this from one of my um, BoxyCharm box and I've been having it sit there and I just thought I'd probably give it a try see how it works and I don't really use like stick foundations or any kind of other foundations other than powder foundations just because I feel like that goes good with my combination skin um, but when I when I was using a tinted uh, foundation or moisturizer I did use this Laura Mercier one um, only because I used to peel a lot when I used to do my retin-a and now that my skin has gotten like super used to it I don't really peel at least nothing that I can see on the surface so I don't really need extra moisturizer or anything like that on my face um, I still do retin-a all the time I just don't peel that much um, so I wanted to go ahead and try this out I don't have anything on my face I just washed my face and um, you know, I'm getting ready for a few things today. So I just washed my face. I moisturized it. I did my gua sha treatment that I usually do. And it's pretty much clean and ready to get worked on with makeup. So, um, the product that we wanted, that I wanted to talk about was the Merit, uh, the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. So it's this one here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And this is in the color Silk. Um, there we go. And so uh, if you are interested in seeing how the results are on my skin, I am gonna film after this and um, I'm gonna wear it now and then give it a few hours and see what happens. So if you guys wanna join the process and see if it's a good uh, foundation stick for um, combination, people uh then just stick around okay guys so um if you are new here my name is yesenia thank you so much for stopping by and saying hello uh please feel free to comment if you have any questions or anything like that throughout the video um and then don't forget to like because that is um what keeps the algorithm going for me i would really appreciate it and for those of you that are coming back and that have subscribed thank you so much it means the world to me and welcome back Okay, so as I mentioned, we are going to talk about the Merit uh, Minimalist Perfect and Complexion Stick. So I was just reading it, and on the back it says um, it's clean, vegan, uh, cruelty-free, um, and then here it says it's not a foundation or a concealer. It's both. So doesn't that make it a foundation and a concealer? <laughs> I'm gonna stop use it only where you need it so you get compliments on your skin not your makeup so I'm thinking that the whole concept of this stick may be that you just like use a little bit on the areas that you think you may need it and maybe not your entire face it's what I'm getting from what I read um, but let's see okay so it says to use uh, swipe onto skin where you want coverage and buff it out with a brush so you can't tell what's what's you and what's makeup yeah so it's actually meant for not a full coverage so I'm gonna try this out so I'm gonna um, I usually go in with um, with this uh, I usually go in with the Rare Beauty um, primer. Um, I think I'm probably just gonna put a little bit and slab it on just because give this stick that's not foundation or concealer a chance. Um, and then just kind of, cause I'm gonna put it on my nose for sure. I'm gonna put it under my eyes and maybe a little bit um, on my forehead, just a little tiny bit. I don't know. I would feel really weird though because I usually cover my entire face like with powder and stuff. 
So it would be a little bit different to not go in like that. And if I was to wear like, you know, I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna put blush on too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this. It's gonna feel a little bit weird if I don't <laughs> use the entire stick on my entire face. Um, I do use color corrector, you guys. So let's just give this a chance without my color correcting because should I just use the color corrector? Let's use the color corrector. Let's give it all it can, you know, the usual that I would do. So I go in with the e.l.f. I'm sorry, not e.l.f. With NYX, um, the NYX uh, color correction palette. And I go in with the green a little bit on my nose. I'm just going to bring this makeup uh, mirror that I have here. Yeah, my, my nose tends to get super red for, I think it's because I take really hot showers. And so my nose gets really, really red. But then under my eyes, it gets really like purplish, you know? So I, I love using this neutralizer, this green neutralizer on my nose because I feel like it makes anything that I put on um, you know, kind of the redness, it's kind of like toned down a little bit. So I'm not going to go in with the corrector. I usually go in with the corrector's, uh, concealer here. Um, but I'm not going to because it says this is both of them. So I just went in with the green a little bit. So I am going to open this and this is how it looks once you open it. Actually, let me show you what it looks like this it's merit it's pretty I, I i like this little stick i mean it's convenient right so like if you don't wear makeup like that um and you just like throw this in your purse this is like super compact i mean it says it's for minimalist so i can see why so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put under my eyes and then i'm gonna put some on my nose and i'm gonna smudge it a little bit and I may put a little bit on my chin area. And I think that's probably the only places I'm going to put it in. And then on my cheeks, I'll probably go in with uh, a blush that I have. And then we'll see how the, this, you know, goes, plays out. So I am going to swipe it like it says under my eyes. Okay. I have like really like purple, dark dark under eyes now I have really light ones I look young don't I <laughs> okay we're gonna go with my nose with this one and I get really like red right here on this area too but I'm just gonna leave that alone and then I will go a little bit here because I have little scars and stuff and right here Okay, well, if you didn't think I looked crazy then, <laughs> with no makeup, how you like me now? <laughs> oh, goodness. I can't believe I'm going to post this video like, looking like this. All right, so I, I usually, um, I'm not going to lie, when it comes to like foundation or tinted moisturizer, I feel like the best thing for my skin and the way that I feel like it blends in the most is with my fingers. So maybe I am a minimalist because I have all these brushes and sponges and I barely use them just because I feel like I have to pack more on because the sponge kind of absorbs the product and so I don't want it to absorb. Okay, so I'm gonna just lightly go in like this and then I might put some on my eyelids just because I'm gonna just drag some up there some extra one just because my eyelids are also like you can see my veins and stuff like when I don't have makeup you can kind of see like my veins I don't know if you can I mean if you were like here in real life you would be able to see my veins like it was it's pretty bad I just 
I think it just comes with age, you know? Like, I'm getting to that point in my life where I'm just like, this is what it is. This is part of life, you know? Like, but I have to say, I have actually have had this, this issues or these issues since I was younger. Like the redness on my nose and stuff like that. I've always had that. Um, but not my, not my under eyes. My under eyes. I have always been fine until like recently I started noticing. I'm like, oh my God, that's crazy. Okay. Anyways, I'm probably gonna fast forward till I'm done. Okay, you guys, so I'm done blending it out. As you can see, I look kind of paled. Um, I'm not gonna lie though, I do feel like it kind of is cakey. Um, so like if you were to see me here in person, it's a little bit cakey and I don't think silk may be my color because like, well, I did just get a tan too. Jesus, even with a tan, you can still see my veins. Do you guys see that? Okay, so I feel like it's a little bit, it, it's a little bit washes me out and it's a little bit maybe it's just the color but it's a little it's a little kicky okay I'm just gonna let it sit a little bit so I only put it here on this area on my nose and then under my eyes a little bit above my eyelid little bit right here between my eyebrows and then here so i didn't put nothing here or here or on my cheeks nothing has gone on there so i am gonna go in with oh and i put a little dab on my lips just because i'm gonna put lipstick and i like to regardless of whatever i ever put on whether it's um powder or whatever i always like to powder my lips just to kind of like get that like neutral color on my lips because I feel like I have pinkish lips already and so when I put a lipstick over them it ends up being like a different color and I want the color of the lipstick on my lips so I feel like you know kind of washing them out helps so I'm gonna go in with MAC uh, Desert Rose and I'm just gonna pat a little bit of this on my cheeks That is that and now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer on my eyelids just to kind of contour them out and I just add a little bit of bronzer on my nose and then I'm gonna do my lips and we should be good to go I mean I probably will put like mascara on a little bit um, but yeah we should be good to go do you feel like it's a little bit light under my eyes like it's probably not the color for me but we're gonna roll with it we're gonna roll with it so I will see you guys back here tonight and um, I'll let you guys know how many hours I'll be wearing it for. Um, as I told you, it does seem a little bit cakey, but I'm hoping that with that face mist, it kind of just blends it in. Um, but it is, it's a little bit cakey. So we'll see. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, I'm back. So it's been literally about six hours since I put this um, Merit uh, 
foundation concealer stick on my face um, I'm actually getting ready for bed so before I wash off my makeup I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it looked like um, so as you can see it it's not really the color of my chest but if I get a little closer um, this foundation it's it's really like it was really cakey at first and it kind of still is but you can tell that it it's moved so I think that for oily skin um, I don't know if you can see here but I didn't put anything here right so there's no coverage there and here it's kind of like moved as well like you can kind of see the green underneath it's mostly my nose and my under eyes so it is oily because it is cakey like I mentioned from the beginning that it was really cakey um, and it just kind of got more oily throughout the day um, and it kind of moved even though I had uh, put primer on um, I think that for the foundation for what it is um, or the coverage stick or whatever it's not bad but I don't think I would use it I I look I look oily so I wouldn't personally like if you're combination skin or your oily skin I probably wouldn't recommend this um, that's just my personal opinion but if you have dry skin I think maybe for dry skin it'd probably work a little bit better um, but for my skin I don't I don't like it and I don't like how it's just like completely off right here and then you see like little dots of the product like and then right here like you see it's completely off right here and then you see little dots of the product it just doesn't look good like in real life like in person too so I probably I mean I'm not gonna throw it out but I probably will just probably give it a few more chances but um, if this has only been six hours um, yeah it's only been six hours it hasn't been like a full day usually like I go 12 hours with wearing makeup uh, before washing my face um, and this kind of just I mean it doesn't look too bad like but it's not I don't really like it so um, that is my personal opinion. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps the um, algorithm um, and helps to um, attract more people into this channel. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And also subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I will be posting a video uh, once a week and potentially twice uh, a week um, in case something else that I want to talk about comes up or there's something that you want to talk about um, I'd be more than happy to do a review on any products so take care and I will see you on my next video good night guys bye